we were actually in Charlotte on April the 22nd um, at, a, at a grand opening event and um, my we were, we were walking and I, I noticed that I had missed a call from my neighbor and then um, my wife's phone rang um, and when she picked up the phone I turned around and it's just like I saw the blood go out of her face and she just handed me the phone she didn't say anything it was my neighbor and uh, he said uh, there's been a horrible accident he said uh, your father has accidentally backed over press with the lawnmower I was the first volunteer firefighter on the scene uh, saw the neighbor uh, standing in the driveway he was talking on a cell phone everybody was pointing and waving down the driveway the trauma was so great to his thoracic region that uh, one of the firemen, firefighter, or battalion chief, Herman Kruger, said, you know, does anybody have some saran wrap? Uh, one of the neighbors ran next door, got some saran wrap, and we wrapped his torso in the saran wrap to try to, A, keep it clean and, and, and keep that area sterile and moist as we could. Uh, Ecom had already got a helicopter uh, ready to go and, and up in the air. We uh, tried to find the closest LZ or landing zone that we could find, which was at Harbor Cove Church on Williamson Road. We just put aside how scary, you know, scary really the situation was and, and just relied on our training. So we were able to start blood as soon as we were in the helicopter. So you're looking within minutes of his injury, he was receiving a blood transfusion, which is giving volume back to keep his heart pumping. Uh, we, were, we were giving him breast for the, for the endotracheal tube uh, and uh, starting medications to keep his blood pressure up and, and to basically help keep him alive. Preston was probably one of the worst cases that, that I can ever remember. His uh, spleen was, was gone, his left kidney was gone. He had uh, suffered severe injuries to his small intestine. Uh, we were unable to locate his uh, stomach in any connection with, uh, with the esophagus or his, his duodenum. Um, and in, in looking at his, at his chest, he suffered a severe injury to, to his lung with ongoing hemorrhage. And at one point, we even had two surgeons working in the abdomen while I was on my knees trying to stop the bleeding in, in his chest. So the stories we heard from those emergency room nurses were that these doctors really went above and beyond what they had to do. They really seemed like they cared about saving our child and trying to do the best for our child. The real odds were that, that Preston was not going to survive this but I knew we were able to get him this far and that children have the ability to recover uh, much better than, than adults or even, even teenagers. Preston has just started to take a few steps today, so we're really excited about that and they got him on a bicycle for the first time. So he's just starting to get his strength back a little bit where he can uh, really take advantage of the rehabilitation and kind of make some progress at this point. We're here because of God's grace and the prayers of thousands of people. Because, I mean, the doctors have even said that. And so the combination of prayer and a facility that's so awesome here, so close to our home, that we had access for our child to be airlifted quickly to an awesome facility like this. The fact that he's singing with Barney and he's singing with SpongeBob and he's taking some assisted steps and you know just anything that he's doing now is miraculous. He's always sweet. He's never yelled at anybody. It's uh, to see to see that part of his persona intact is really amazing. We feel like we had a great part in Lord's Miracle that day. Preston's a strong kid. Man, he you know, really pulled through. The fact that Preston's alive is, is truly a, a testament to the entire system working perfectly from beginning to end. Everything we needed for, for him, we were able to, to provide. And the fact is that if we didn't have any one person involved in his care or any one of those resources, Preston wouldn't be alive today. And the fact that he is, is truly a miracle.